I'm Melissa Mancini with Canadian HR Reporter TV. I recently sat down with Cheryl Ball from the Canadian Payroll Association to talk about what's new for payroll in 2012. Well, we've just passed our 33rd year anniversary, so we're continually growing for sure, and we will be shortly releasing two new sets of guidelines. The first guideline is a new hire checklist. So it's going to allow practitioners actually to do this unique list and it's action tasks per new hire in an effort to stay in compliance within the organization. The termination guidelines were created by the CPA to assist practitioners in understanding the multi-jurisdictional legislation regarding legislated notice for individuals of termination of employment as well as legislated severance for employees covered under something called the Canada Labour Code or the Ontario Employment Standards legislation. We have a termination calculator. I'm really excited about this one actually. So the tool is designed to separate the legislated notice from lump sum payment and to designate the excess as either eligible or non-eligible retiring allowance. But we do also have a checklist. So the CPA has created an interactive termination checklist. This is going to help ensure the various steps involved with the termination of employment and employers can customize their own checklist by selecting items from the CPA's comprehensive list of action items. 